Today we are going to review the Eco Plus commercial air pump, which I highly recommend if you have a fish room or multiple tanks that you just want to aerate with one pump. Very easy. Let's go at it. Let's take a look. Here we are at tank one, and look at that airflow. Looking pretty good. Tank one of 15 in my fish room. Bunch of healthy, happy fish. Let's go take you to the next tank after I show you a little panoramic view. Tank two. Looking pretty good on the uh, airflow there as well. Little obstruction, I think, on the airflow. Let's see. Uh, maybe they got some sand that's making it spaced out a little bit, but overall, good airflow. Say hi to the uh, flower horn. Got a couple jags in there with my uh, long pin Oscars. Yeah, good airflow. Next tank. We're going to tank number three. Here we are. Cut the air one and clown knife. I've attached a temporary airline right here on the air wand. Good airflow. Gonna find a better spot for it. In the process of cleaning this tank, got a little bit of algae on it. But yeah, overall, got some good airflow on this one. Tank four with the Oscars. And we've got good airflow on my DIY filter. Little sponge filter action with the Oscars. We've got good airflow here. And say hi to the peacock bass and the albino before we leave. We're off to tank number five. Bye. Bye. Tank number five. Good airflow once again. On my other DIY sponge filter. Hey, and we got a little dragon puffer. Say hi. Let me get him in focus. He's just lazy, looking for something to eat. They're an ambush predator. He's usually hiding behind the other terracotta pots. Well, let's go to six. Here's my one of my quarantine tanks. Got the Pleco right there with the good airflow. Got some long fin Oscars. My little arowana. Doing good. And we've got a rope fish and a ghost knife down there. And also the African butterfly fish that's always hiding in the plant that you can barely see. We're off to tank seven with the dovi. He's by himself because, well, let's take it. He's a mean fish. But we got good airflow on this one as well. Looking good. We're going to hit tank number eight as soon as we say goodbye to him. Bye, Dovey. Bye. Here we are at tank eight. Good airflow here as well. We've got the mystery fish. Does anyone know what that fish is? If so, comment below. He will be in a bigger tank shortly. But we got good airflow. We're going to hit up tank number nine here. And we've got the Feste tank. Good airflow. Got a little air stone connected to it. Good airflow. And um, also, I do have these regulators on here. And I don't even have them all turned up. So keep that in mind. Let's go to tank 10. As soon as we say goodbye. Tank 10. We've got another tank with great airflow as well. We've got a needle nose gar and a shovel nose catfish. Just hanging out. Want me to feed them. Fish, they're always hungry. Once again, we've got some great airflow in this tank. So now let's hit tank 11. My saltwater quarantine tank. A couple bird wrasse, snowflake eel. We've got good airflow again. Looking good. Tank 12. Marble shark. Marble cat, or cat, marble cat shark. Can't spit it out. Now he's just an active little guy. He's still in quarantine, but we got good airflow here as well. He's happy, energetic, and of course he's always hungry. Always hungry. Let me see if I get a better video of him. Ah, he's too fast. Can't catch him on this angle. Well, 
We're hitting up the 13th tank as soon as we say goodbye. Bye! Lucky number 13, but not so lucky for Flowerhorn. He's got a serious case of bloating. I'm going to have to fix that and remedy him. He's in this hospital tank for right now, but we've got good airflow in this one. Everything's looking good, except for him, but he will be getting taken care of. Bye, Flowerhorn. Number 14 is my pea puffer tank. Just got these little guys. Got to figure out what I want to do with this tank, but we also have some good airflow in my other DIY sponge filter. Everything looking good. Sorry about the focusing. There we go. Good airflow. Off to the last tank. Here we are at tank number 15. It's my feeder tank. We got some minnows. We got some ghost shrimp and some snails. As you can see, we've got good airflow here as well. So 15 tanks in the fish room with great air supply. Well, to wrap this video up, one pump can pump 15 tanks full of air no problem and it's just one outlet you buy one of the smaller pumps you might be lucky to power two tanks with it but to do a fish room you're going to take up multiple outlets and it probably won't be as efficient as the one i just showed you and they're going to cost 10 to 20 bucks each compared to 65 to 70 dollars for the one i will leave the link to the pump and maybe some accessories you might need in the description below. As always, I appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.